Hey there, everybody. I hope you are doing well. I'm a Fefe with Touch by Tarot and Beyond. If you're new to my channel, you just landed here. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you like what you hear and see. And if so, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And for my regular subscribers, my new subscribers just recently, I thank you so very much. And please also, please remember to hit the like button um, when you watch the videos. It really helps the algorithm. It helps the videos to go out to more people. And I would deeply deeply appreciate that all right you all i'm gonna try and keep this one short and sweet um but i could not let this date october 7th we all know that that is the anniversary of the horrific um you know attack on israel last year a day a year ago today october 7th and um i want to take a look at kamala harris specifically regarding that and if we are going to see a shift, we're all believing she's going to win. She's got to get in there. And it looks like this is going to be protracted, at least, you know, for now, the way Spirit is showing us and the way we're seeing in the facts, the way it's playing out. Um, she has been very, very careful about, on the one hand, being in lockstep with Biden, Joe Biden, and... The policies that have been set out, the billions of dollars that have been spent in support of Israel and some of the flack that's, you know, that's come back and blown back because of that from for people who are saying, listen, you know, Netanyahu is off the chain. He's not trying. A ceasefire is the farthest thing from his uh, you know, from his reality, his thinking, because that's the only way he can continue to cling to power and stay out of trouble, his doggone self, right? Um, but I want to take a look, you all, and see if, and for my tarot readers, I'm going to be reading from the uh, Tarot of the Cosmic Seed, in case any of you are interested in that. And uh, I had a few people, you all pay such close attention, and I appreciate that. A couple of people were like, well, we like seeing more of your table, but now we can't see the Buddha's head. So I, I tried to bring that down a little bit for you all. I get, I get, you know, I so enjoy your commentary, and your as long as it's the only thing I ask, whether you're directing something to me or someone else on the, on the comment section, please be respectful. We're going to disagree Sometimes we're going to have, you know, different, different attitudes, different moods. We're all living through challenging times and I get that, but I just ask that we, we stay respectful. And for the most part, you really do. And I, and I noticed that and I really appreciate that. Two really quick uh, housekeeping notes before I, before I go to the cards and go to spirit. Uh, October 9, I had promised my members a live session, uh, a live Q&A session on Zoom this Wednesday, October 9. I am in Florida, you all, and it's looking like this Hurricane Milton now is coming through on Wednesday. It's going to start to deteriorate. Uh, it's already been rainy and weird here over the weekend, um, but conditions are supposed to deteriorate today and tomorrow. Wednesday is going to be a really bad day, so I think I'm going to have to postpone, all right? Keep an eye on that. I will do another posting, and we'll pick another date, and I'm so sorry about that. I just have a, a, a queasy feeling about, you know, in general, but certainly trying to maintain a Zoom session and having Wi-Fi, reliable Wi-Fi that date. So I'm so sorry, uh, but I will reschedule it. Also, October 26th, remember I am doing a tarot workshop. That is still on the books, and I still have some spots open. I will put a link for how to register for that down below, and I'd love to have you join me if you haven't already signed up. All right, enough said. Let's get to it. So Kamala Harris. Will she change her, or not necessarily change, Spirit saying don't put it that way. How will Kamala Harris deal with Netanyahu in her administration? How will she deal with Netanyahu? Because she's expressed, she is, her support for American Jews and the state of Israel, Israelis, not going to budge, nor should it. Uh, but, but this this contempt almost that Netanyahu has shown towards Biden um, and, and the disrespect and the underhandedness, I have a feeling he's going to be different, dealing with a different uh, situation under a Kamala Harris administration. So, but that's, that's a Fefe speaking. Let's go to Spirit. Spirit, please show us. Kamala Harris, in a Kamala Harris or Harris Walls administration, how will things 
be handled with Netanyahu, with the Prime Minister of Israel? Will things change? Will things shift? Will she take a different tact with him than Joe Biden? How is Kamala Harris going to handle Netanyahu going forward? And will she shift? Ooh, we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. I'm loving that. Uh, it, you know, it feels like a new sheriff is in town, right? And this is, she will be sure. Um, and the lovers came right behind that. I don't, I never ignore, if I shuffle and, and when I'm looking at the bottom of the deck, I never ignore when I have major arcana. So we have the lovers and the emperor. Kamala Harris is going to, on the one hand, um, seek to unify leadership seek to make sure that it's understood she's not she's not here uh as president she will not be someone who is looking to disassemble or dismantle the the relationships that joe biden put into place right she's not going to go in there and just tear stuff up and you know let me tell you one thing not at all but she is going to give some boss energy and, and her deal is going to be, this has to be a two-way street. That's how the lovers feels. It is, it is a card of um, ruled by Gemini, the twins. It sees two sides of a situation, um, but it also seeks to unify. But the fact that this unification is taking place under a Mars Aries energy like we have with an emperor says that she's not going to go. Her negotiating style will be really, really different from that of Joe Biden because Joe Biden almost has an expectation of mutual cooperation. And Spirit is saying that Kamala Harris is going to go in it as if I've already watched what you've done. I've watched how you've handled this situation, Netanyahu. I've watched how you've basically punked America. And it's a, it's going to be a different situation. Spirit, please give me more. We have the Four of Swords. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. That's what I just heard in my head. And the Messenger of Wands, the Knight of Wands. I'll show these to you. One more. The Two of Cups. So, again, there's this blending of partnerships. She is going to try. She's not gonna gonna hit him with her hardest prosecutorial boom boom. It's it's firm, but it's going to be firm in the sense of notice even the eagle on that card, on that emperor card. It's gonna be firm with the sense of because it's two of cups remembering. Ah, thank you, spirit. Remember, she's a Libra and ruled by Venus. Her, but Libra is about balance and about the win-win and about how mutual cooperation. She will go go at him in the in the in the vein of hoping for that, but she's also razor sharp. That four of swords, she is like, let me you know how she says one of her favorite catchphrases is let me be clear. Let me be clear. That's what the Four of Swords is all about. It is about gaining clarity and the Messenger of Wands. Let me be clear. I do have a message of of what is to, what will be tolerated and what we cannot just you know infinitely continue to sign on to without some sort of momentum towards a ceasefire and towards um, of having having the hostages released down to what 97 now that we know of that we hope are still alive hearts go out to to the families of those who are still can you imagine a year into this and we have the chariot and i love this stance look hands on the hips that's that's going to be her chariot is ruled by cancer it is a very um on the one hand it, it can be perceived as a very nurturing energy water sign um but but it's also no nonsense when it comes to loyalty and protecting who and what it loves it is vociferously um you know adamant about making sure that home and hearth and hearth uh, is is looked after. So she is going to take a different stance with him. He's going to be resentful. Spirit, how will... That's what I'm getting, but let me check with Spirit. I felt resentment. How will Netanyahu treat Kamala Harris as president? How will he... Will he shift his actions 
from those of towards the Joe Biden. Four of Pentacles, mm -mm. he's going to be like, this is what it is, and this is what it is, and this is what it is. More the same from him. He's almost going to make the mistake of being a little dismissive of her. Ten of Wands and the Four of Coins. See how that's a very, sitting very, you know, mm, this is my position and I'm not budging from it. And the Ten of Wands is taking on more and more and more complete exhaustion burnout he he's been feeling netanyahu has been feeling his cheerios a little you know lately because of the strikes um um helping with the assistance of the united states and europe helping to deter those um those missiles but but it is taking a toll it's taking a toll on him it's taking a toll you know he's no spring chicken either and so there's that he's going to He's not going to do anything different. In fact, he may even do a little more, try a little more pushback with her because of the fact that she is a woman and because of the fact that as someone who has gone extreme right, not Netanyahu, he's, he's going to resent the fact that the American public chose democracy. Chose democracy. All right. Spirit, let's finish this up a little bit. So... How will I, uh, okay, they just told me to ask, we, I want to see how will the, the communication and the tone between um, American Israelis and Kamala Harris, a Kamala Harris administration, she's going to bring somebody in that cabinet, I don't, is it Josh Shapiro? No, is it? She's going to have somebody in her cabinet who is really going to help. Their their primary function is going to be um, U.S.-Israel relations. And, and that might fall to a Secretary of State. I know many of us have had some question marks around Pete Buttigieg moving into that spot. He said that he's perfectly happy with transportation, but my gosh, with his skills, his talent, his language. Somebody said he speaks, what, six languages, more, maybe more? Um, different languages, his ability, his, his, just his whole style, his intellect, everything, his temperament. He has an amazing temperament to be on an international stage that way. Uh, but it has to be someone, spirit, she going to deliberately place someone in her cabinet just for this whole thing. Um, seven of wands yes that is bravery that is courage and that's going to be it's going to take someone she's going to look for a cabinet member who has the sensibilities to to stand their ground to take a hard line when necessary but to also be um to make sure that that people understand that America's support for Israel and uh, Israel itself and certainly American Jews will never, never waver. There's that messenger of wands again. It's come up again. You saw me shuffle. This is going to be a hot topic. Um, and a, and a, and a, and a burning issue is what spirit just said, a burning issue in her administration. Because remember, by the time she gets into office early 2025, this will, will be going on, you know, potentially if something doesn't happen between now and then, and I'm not feeling it, you all, I, I certainly will go to spirit again and see where we are. But, but a ceasefire, it feels like right now. Netanyahu's gotten some, you know, he's feeling himself and he thinks that he thinks that he can actually do this, like just take over, just take everybody down. We have the two of cups again. Interesting how um, repeat energies are coming, even though I shuffled. Let me shuffle some more. But spirit makes no mistakes with those um, repeat. I think that um, in relation to who she chooses on her cabinet, this two of cups would indicate someone who she feels can ease the flow. She does not want a flow of communications, flow of dialogue. Uh, she does not want someone who's going to come in and bully their way or um, turn, turn people off. She wants to keep access to Netanyahu at all. She wants the doors to stay open, but also in a way it's a delicate, delicate dance. And she wants someone who will, who will do that. Um, and spirits just telling me, yes, I got it right. When I'm, on, when I'm in a flow like that and I pull an ace, that's my guide saying, yes, we're, we're on track with that. And notice it comes in fire. 
Ace of Wands. So she is going to seek a person on her cabinet. I am spirit. Is let let's just ask spirit. Is this Pete Buttigieg? Will she offer at least offer Pete Buttigieg Secretary of State? Will Pete Buttigieg Secretary of State? Uh, that's her. I always pull her as an empress. Many other readers do as well. She gives off that that empress energy, the Venus energy of empress. So yes, I t this is her, and I think yes, she will want someone like him on that global stage with temperance. Yes, you all. Now, whether he'll take it, don't know. But I am getting from these two cards, the Empress coming with the Temperance card, a card of healing, a card of moderation, um, a card of being able to understand different sides of a situation and create alchemy, create change from that. That's, you know, Secretary of State, someone who can go to these different regions, the Middle East, etc., and be able to carry a message, two of cups, that can be healing, that can be um, firm, yet understanding both sides of a situation in order to, to reach a ceasefire agreement. Pete Buttigieg would be ideal for that. So be on the lookout for that, you all. All right. Finally, I do want to take a quick, a quick, quick, <laughs> a quick peek at SCOTUS. Mm, if we must. I got the incense going, right? Yeah, let's. Let's cleanse the deck a little bit. Smudge it. Uh, Sc so SCOTUS is back in session. And I want to take a look, you all. Let us, let us all direct our energy to the, to the preservation of justice and democracy, our democracy, during this election. We know that Trump at all would like nothing more than to have these votes in certain states, Georgia et al., that's, that's implemented these new rules, new laws, that are going to delay certification, possibly delay it, somehow kick it maybe to Congress, somehow maybe get it kicked to the Supreme Court, right? That's their long game. I don't, I'm not feeling that. I will do a separate reading on that. I, I just don't feel like that's going to happen. Um... Spirit is saying do it now. At least check into it now, all right? Then I will. Spirit, will the election be certified through the normal channels? Will the election, will the presidential election be certified through the normal channels without having to go to Congress or the Supreme Court? Will the election in November, will the election be decided through the normal channels? I definitely am feeling delay somehow, contention, contests. Uh, but we have the Ten of Cups. Ooh, I like it. At the bottom of the deck. With the star. You know, I told you I don't I don't ignore a major arcana at the bottom of the deck after I shuffle. With the star. Now that the star is age of Aquarius, right? Uh hopeful, power to the people, you know, all of that. Um and with the Ten of Cups, it feels that feels celebratory. That feels like everybody like, yes, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, right? But the star is also a card that, that can take time. It is a card where energy is projected over a period of time, and it takes a while for everything to work out. So don't be surprised if we do see some hiccups in the immediate aftermath. And I think pretty much we're all kind of expecting that. We know uh jd vance and at all everyone on that side um trump and his madness for entertainment purposes only um has you know they're not they're not going to even if it is a landslide and that's what we're praying for like all of this oh you know within a percentage point or you know a, a quarter of a percent like no let it be decisive let it be clear but even then there will be there will be some pushback one way or another instead of admitting defeat um King of Swords. That feels a little Trumpish. He's gonna push for that, of course, because you know he 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 that it's his it's his scotus it's his it's his folk you know the majority of them anyway right that that majority, um he's gonna push and there's already this feels like with swords. Communication as well, I've, I'm getting from Spirit, there's already been some conversations had back door, back door, back door about 
be ready for this to come down the pike and be ready to be on alert for this to happen and you know what you need to do if it does but we have the nine of swords mm -mm. you all mm -mm. there's they are worried about that scotus let me tell you something for all of their bravado uh you know talking about roberts and and thomas and alito etc for all of their bravado and you know uh, we're the untouchables. They're shaken. They were shaken by a lot of the events that transpired over the last year. The fact that, you know, the whole question of ethics reform has come out. The fact that you even have other Supreme Court justices like Katanji Brown Jackson coming out in favor of it. You have a uh, uh, old girl, Comey Barrett, saying, I, I get it, you know, not not unreasonable. So they they have been shaken. They're trying their darndest not to show it, but they have been shaken. The five of swords, exactly. They don't know what to say, and, and they or they recognize that their voice has been hampered, and that the legitimacy of their voice as a as a supreme body of of justice in this country has been hampered. But the bottom line is, I don't think spirit. Let me close this part out. Are you saying that? I want to be clear. Are you saying that the the election will be decided by normal channels? We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is going back to old school, going back to the old way of being Six of Cups. Yeah, I do. I believe even, don't be shaken when in the immediate aftermath, but there's going to be so many, uh, what's his name, Mark Elias with Democracy Docket, so many other organizations, legal organizations, top-ranked attorneys across this country are already on board like, nope, 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 we see you coming, we see the plan, and we already have measures in place to deal with you. So let's hope for that. All right, you all? That's my story. That's what's up for this time. Um, wishing you all well. Let's tune in and see what happens with Kamala Harris tonight on 60 Minutes. She's also got, because the thing, you know, she, for every bar that gets placed in front of her, she meets it and moves on. She didn't express economic policy. Boom, here's the economic policy. She was weak on immigration. Boom, here's immigration. She refuses to do interviews. Boom, boom, boom. Here comes some interviews, right? So, uh, in individual interviews um, without without walls. So, tonight she will be on 60 Minutes. I understand later in the week she's going to be on The View. I think um, some other stuff. You'll see. It'll be in the news. But let's keep an eye on her. This is going to be a really pivotal week for her. But I think she has been so laser focused. And because every time she does this, for every stop on the campaign trail, her messaging is becoming more and more solid, even as she has to adapt it and flow with it as events occur. She's just done a superb job, and I don't think we're going to see any any less of that this week. So I'll jump back on here. Wish me luck with the hurricane. If, if weather permits, I may try and jump on and do a quick taping for you all. Uh, but I don't feel secure about trying to hang on doing a 90 minute zoom. So again, members, please be patient with me. I will, um, I will reschedule that for that we were going to do Wednesday night. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care. Be good.